Hello and welcome to the first video that's posted on this channel. My name is Matthew and I hope you enjoy the content I post soon. This is the first time I've attempted to create a video in a few years, so the quality probably won't be very good. Although, this is all made for enjoyment as I've just finished secondary school in the UK, didn't really know what to do over my holiday. So far, I've just watched a lot of YouTube in, in the last few weeks, which has actually inspired me to give it another try as I have enjoyed making videos on here before. So the first video, and the main basis of the videos I plan to upload in the future, is going to be on the new version of Pro Cycling Manager, a game I've played for a few years, generally watch a lot of cycling in my day to day life, and prefer games where tactics come into play, so the game suits me quite well. To start off, I thought I would test the new game through a sprint stage, then move on to larger projects in the coming weeks. So this is around my fifth race in the game, sprint around the most famous cycling circuit in the world, the Paris Champs Elysees. I thoroughly hope you enjoy, and I would appreciate any feedback given in the comments. Let's get into the game. So I'll be using the World DB created by the people from PCM World in this video, and the videos to come. I would highly recommend this, as it's got everything you need in a database. So, this is the route profile. 120 kilometers of flat roads from Rambouillet to the Champs Elysees in Paris. The team I'll be using for this race will be Mitchelton Scott from Australia. The leader will be the European champion Matteo Trentin, who unfortunately doesn't have his jersey in the game yet. His main lead out will come from Michael Albacini, the Swissman, and the South African champion Daryl Impey. Along with these will be Adam Yates, Luke Durbridge, Michael Hepburn, Damien Housen, and Jack Bauer. As this is a stage from the Tour de France, the field will be packed out with the majority of the world's best sprinters, so hopefully on the screen now some of them will pop up. Firstly, there's a three-pronged attack from Bora Hansgrohe, with Peter Sagan, Sam Bennett and Pascal Ackerman. Elia Faviani and Fabio Jakobsen from Decurdy Quickstep will also be a tough challenge, and the quickest sprinter on the database is Dylan Grunewagen from Jumbo Visma. Along with these are the likes of Christophe Gaviria from UAE, Demar from Groupama, Ewan from Lotto, Greipel from Arkea, Degenkolb from Trek, Bahrain's Colbrelli, and Michael Matthews from Team Sunweb. So, I play this game very different to anyone else I've seen. I like to make a train right off of the start so I can control the race uh, from beginning to end, basically. So, I've started making my train, Trentin's at the back, Behind Impe, who will follow Michael Albacini. He will follow Jet Bauer. Then Adam Yates. Yates will follow Hepburn. Hepburn follows Housen. And Housen follows Durbridge, who I will set to pace Infinite Relay on the front at 60. So, the first action of the day is an attack from Nathan Van Hoydonk for CCC and Steve Cummins from Dimension Data. They will get a gap on the rest of the peloton, as us with Luke Durbridge are currently pacing on the front. So, very soon later, there is another attack. This time it's Elie Jezbert of Arkea Zemzik and Harry Tenfield from Katusha Alpsin while we're still pacing on the front. Just after passing the Eiffel Tower, we are still pacing on the front, harder now though with Luke Durbridge. So now under the tunnel around the lap of the Champs Elysees, uh, we've got another attack, this time from Total Direct Energies Fabien Grelier and he gets away pretty easily. Well, next thing to happen, Elie Jezbert from Arkea Samzik is going to be recollected by the pack, which is currently led by Mashe Bodnar of Bora Hansgrohe. Tim DeClerc is now pulling on the front of the peloton, and here he will eventually catch up with Fabien Grelier and bring him back into the pack. So now our riders are getting a bit thirsty, they are running out of water, so we have sent Michael Hepburn back to the car to get some more. So now as the peloton are 
coming down the straight at the end of the Champs Elysees. Uh, Nathan Van Hoydonk is going to get caught by the pack being led by Stephen Kreisbeck. And the pack have kept on going. We are now pacing quite hard on the front with Luke Durbridge. And here we will end up catching Harry Tenfield from Katusha as Durbridge will come on the inside of him and uh, pass him as he's recollected. Meanwhile, Michael Hepburn is coming up with water for the rest of our team. And also, Steve Cummins will now be caught as well. As Durbridge will come round him too. So here there is another attack. This time it's going to be Astonaz, Manuel Ibuaro, Dylan turns from Bahrain Merida, and Nelson Oliveira of the Movistar team, and they will get a gap. Slightly after the previous attack, there is another one. Uh, this time it's Team Ineos's Luke Rowe. It will be Ajdazil Le Mondial's Tony Gallopan and uh, what did group go bears? Johanna Fredo. So now the peloton is going to be pushed on very hard by UAE Svenner Bistrom and Jumbo Visma Stephen Kreisbike with about 45k to go. With 40k to go here, we're going to now send Adam Yates back for some water. So we have water until the end of the stage. So the break of six that had initially gone are now going to be caught by the peloton uh, led by one of the current quick step riders initially here and they, it is Emmerich Mass pacing on the front and they are caught right almost immediately Nelson Oliveira is then uh, going to attack again and create another break for himself as we are actually struggling to get back up to the front here from behind. And coming out the other side of the tunnel, Adam Yates is going to get back up with the water for the rest of the team. So now Nelson Oliveira is going to be re-caught by the peloton, which is currently being led by Bora Hansgrower and Lotto Sudel here and under the 1k banner which is actually at 2k he's going to be caught by uh, Massive Bodnar and Tim Vellens. Meanwhile Luke Durbridge has uh, lost all his energy so Damien Housen is now on the front of our train. And under the one lap to go banner uh, Tom Scoynes is going to attack and get a small gap for a while. And only a few k later, Scoynes is going to be reclaimed by the peloton as the lead outs for the sprinters are beginning at just under 20k to go. And under 15k to go, Sylvain Dillier is going to attack, but his attack isn't going to last very long as Debbie Housen is still on the front of our train. And now with 11k to go, this is where our actual lead out starts with Michael Hepburn on the front of our train and he will start it all off as here he goes now and he will immediately take control of the front of the peloton and start our lead out proper with six riders in the train and at around 8k to go now Reinhard Jensen van Rensburg is going on the attack and we are falling back a bit with Adam Yates on the front of our train. But we are going to stop him now and Jack Bauer will take over here. So from now on I'm going to commentate over the rest of the stage because there isn't that long left. And we are currently just before the tunnel. Bauer uh, tried to move Bauer towards the right hand side of the road to try and get the train intact uh, as Yates was blocking him. But going up the ramp here, Bauer seems to just completely drop them. And uh, I will eventually pause again and get Albacine to start going also as I use Trentin's energy gel 
around 5k from the end. And Albacini will now pace. Impey's also losing a lot of his red bar here. But Bauer is still pacing on the front and is recaught right now at Jansen van Rensburg. In the meanwhile, uh, I will now try and get Albacini back behind Bauer. And he'll be blocked by the Umbo Visma rider, so Bauer's just out on his own for now. Uh, at this point, I decide to stop Bauer from going, as there are a couple of attacks. Evil Ampere and Soren Kra Anderson are currently attempting to go, along with Magnus Court Nielsen from Estenar, who is the man going at the front in the blue. We've got Albacini attempting to go now. And all this is going to end in one big bunch sprint. Magnus Court Nielsen tried to get away uh, around one of these last two corners. Going into the uh, penultimate corner here. We're going to pause again and get Albacine to do a small amount of sprinting. But his red is done very, very quickly. And Magnus Court will run out of energy here. Pascal Ackerman's coming up the right hand side here, and uh, I thought he was attacking, but it's he he wasn't. We're gonna get Impy to go and set Albacini back to stay to stay in the group. I apologise for that. And meanwhile, uh, Amon Jensen's gonna get a big gap here, which I hadn't realised for a good while, and Soren Cry Anderson has also got a small gap from Impy on the front. And Jensen looked really good at this point, but he does die off towards the end. Impy will start sprinting now, and we will pause it a little further ahead, as Soren Cry Anderson is going to attempt to go again. And at this point, I thought Cry Anderson's attack was going to be quite successful. And Impy was getting kind of blocked by Jensen, so I tried to swap Trenton over to Cranderson's wheel and restart it again. Impy will keep sprinting from there though. But as I restarted, Cranderson starts to die and go off the rails. So I try and get back in the wheel of Impy, but that isn't going to work. So in the end, I just decide to open up the sprint. And uh, I set every single one of my riders to sprint to try and get them all into the highest possible the position they could. Uh, but Jensen's on the front here. And I will attempt to, to spin around the camera to try and get a better angle of the finish. Uh, probably pretty poor. Uh, I'm, I'm only just kind of getting used to the camera on this game because I didn't really understand how to do it for a while. But... Uh, I'm getting used to it now. So, Jensen on the front will be passed by Alberto Betiol first. Denny Van Poppel will take the lead very briefly. And it will be given to Alexander Kristoff. In, but in the last 100 metres, Peter Sagan will come past and win the stage on the Champs Elysees. Greipel cut it very close. Uh, Trenton could only manage 7th position after our ride here. Uh, we've also got Impy and Albacini in the top 20. And uh, Jet Bauer will be in the top 30. Uh, Hepburn's a little further behind. Yates a little further behind again. And Housen and Durbridge are in a group reasonably far back, but they were all given the same time. And uh, also... After you see all of these come in, it will cut to a clip of Bart de Klerk from Wanted Group Gobert being the last man in the race. This is currently uh, a bug that's in the system where the Wanted Group Gobert riders, for the most part, just uh, just fall back and just end up very far behind. Especially on mountain stages, some people are getting them two or three hours behind. And this bug really needs fixing. Because if on the Champs Elysees you're going to lose almost 15 minutes. And it's a complete flat stage. 
but there's De Klerk coming in over the line and we will go to the podium. So now here is the podium, Peters again winning the stage uh, on the Champs-Élysées and picking up his award. UAE were the best team on the day, we got third in that classification. Uh, but overall, it was an unfortunate day, as previously in uh, my other races, I've attempted to record this two or three times already. This is the worst result I've come out with, and it, it's quite disappointing. I've got a couple of seconds, and uh, I even got third with Michael Albacini on one of the attempts. So, it, it was going pretty well, but uh, it all fell apart with that decision to try and follow Craig Anderson. So, that will be the end of this first video. I would greatly appreciate it if you leave a like rating if you enjoyed the video. Also, if you'd like to see more, please subscribe to the channel. If there are any improvements you have in mind, or you'd like to give me some advice, please write a comment in the comment section. Also, please leave a comment answering the question of the day, which in this video is going to be, who is your favourite cyclist? Anyway, if you made it this far, thank you for watching, as I really do appreciate it. Cheers, and goodbye.